If you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign Mike in US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. And I got a new arrival. Y'all check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. 250. Y'all get y'all a mug today. Y'all get y'all a beautiful mug today on the website. Y'all get y'all a mug. Y'all can come sit with me. Mm hmm. Ain't none of your business was in my cup. Ain't none of my business in your cup. But when I go live, y'all can come sit with me. We can have some uh, uh, a virtual toast. Virtual toast. Virtual toast. Oh, yeah. Go get you some. Go get your wristband, baby. Go go get all that. Get all that. I represent. Being an entrepreneur, baby, is hard. But I love this job. I love this job. I'm going to give one more Once again, 250. Just came in. Just came in. Ain't that beautiful, y'all? Ain't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to be diving into some lyrics. Diving into some lyrics. Love Sosa by Chief Keef. Let me just tell y'all something. Chief Keef, one of my favorite rappers, for many reasons. Authentic, original. Chief Keef has a, uh, if you ever listen, really, really listen to Chief Keef, it's not just real. He can actually spit. If you ever listen to Chief Keef, his metaphors similes, personification. He, he's an actual rapper. He don't get the credit because a lot of people don't look at him as a lyricist. They look at him as a, a drill artist. But out the gate, this is a special dude, in my opinion, just looking at a humanistic side to be a multi-millionaire at 16, but not just a multi-millionaire at 16, coming where he come from. Chief Keepin rapping since he was 12. So by the time he was 16, he was already polished. By the time he was 16, he was already polished. So he was already advancing past everybody else in the city. And his momentum, you know, everybody was talking about this whole GD, BD. Nobody knew what, what was going on in Chicago. He opened the door to see what was really going on in Chicago. On the flip side, it's quite, it's, it's quite sad that thousands, this, this song came out in 2012. So that's what, 30, uh, 11 years ago. In these 11 years, Thousands of blacks have been shot and murdered in the streets of Chicago. And it doesn't look like it's getting any better. Now they got the migrants coming in. They got all type of issues going on in Chicago. And Chief Keith was one of the ones that were able to make it out. A lot of kids didn't make it out. A lot of our black children did not make it out of Chicago. So when you when, when I listen to Sosa, especially the early Sosa, He's telling his story about how he made out, why he's getting out, the mindset of a gangbanger in Chicago. I mean, it's gruesome. It's the, the, how them boys are doing each other out there, 40 rounds. Some dude got killed in Chicago, 64 rounds. They put 64 rounds in them. Two guys, he coming out of jail, and two guys hopped out with automatics and lit that boy up. I don't know what he did. I mean, 64 rounds. Man, that is... I mean, he's that's like overkill. That's past overkill. So coming from those these type of places and to see him make it out and be successful and take care of his kids, you know, this dude, this dude is a different dude. This dude is a different animal. So let's dive into these lyrics. But we got, uh... We got the intro... It starts off with the chorus, Love Sosa. These these uh these bees love Sosa. Let them know let them know then Rari's and Rovers. A little cobra. Oh uh, hold on, this is the chorus. Oh 
hold on, y'all, hold on. Okay. This is a course. These B love salsa, O N or no N. Effing with them old boys, you gonna get effed over. So he's talking about O Block. Um, it was named after Odie. Uh, I guess it's what another one of Chief Key's big homies that got killed. Uh, o Block uh, off a street called Normal, but they call it Lamron. They say it backwards. Uh, it's South Side of Chicago. Uh, one of the worst neighborhoods, I think it's an Inglewood section, if I'm not mistaken. Robberies and robbers, these hoes love Sosa. Hit them with that cobra, now that boy slumped over. They do it off of Sosa, you boys ain't making no noise. Y'all know I'm a grown boy, your clique full of broke boys. <laughs> He's letting it, so a lot of his songs is talking about the GDs. A lot of Chief Q's songs is talking about the GD, his, uh, his, op, his opposition his opponent and he's in not only talking about the GDs, his songs are talking about any uh nigga in his age group, you know. You talking about all the games, you talking about Crips, you talking about bloods. I'm not saying he's disrespecting those says I'm talking about he's saying all y'all bro, we going after everybody. Three hundred three hundred is he said it was a play off the movie three hundred. So he reps three hundred and some of his friends are six hundred. Now, I don't know where 600 came from, but 300, they call themselves Glory Boys because that's what the whole point of the movie, the movie Sparta. Uh, the movie 300 is about the Spartans in Greece fighting the Persians. So, he said, we coming at y'all next. We coming at y'all like 300. And the whole movie is about glory. You know, in the movie, Leonidas kept talking about glory, glory, glory. And the glory is getting your name out there. The glory is getting the respect. The glory is crushing your opponents. The glory is getting the money. So this is what they're seeking. They're seeking to get the name out there. Uh, Chief Keith's Click is seeking to get uh, respect. They're seeking to get the women. They're seeking to get the cars. And this is their glory, right? So this is why they say, yo, Click is full of broke boy. They say Glory, glow boys, you glowing up, you know I mean you shining, you doing your thing. So when Chief Keep came out, it was a whole different lingo. It was he changed the rap game. He came out, it was a whole different lingo, it was a whole different energy. It was gruesome, it was fun, it was upbeat, it was just relentless, right? God y'all some broke boys, God y'all some broke boys, we GBE dope boys. So that's going back to what I was saying, glory. GBE is Glory Boys Entertainment. We got lots of dough, boy. So, these bees love Sosa and they love them glow boys. Now we from the go, boy, but we cannot go, boy. And I think, so, he said, we know we from the go, meaning they with it. They willing to shoot, they willing to run, do whatever they got to do to get that glory. But we cannot go. So, I think he's talking about we cannot die. That's what I think. I think that's what he meant by he said we cannot go. We ain't done like y'all. Y'all gonna die, not us. Now I don't know, old oh boy. I know he's a broke boy. Rarries and Rovers, convertible, Lambos. You know I got bands, boy, and it's in my pants, boy. Disrespect them, old oh boys. You won't speak again, boy. So he's talking about, like I said, his ops. They talking bad about him on them rap songs, and he said, "You talk about us, you gonna get, you gonna get whacked." Don't think that I'm playing, boy. No, we don't use hands, boy. No, we don't do friends, boy. Collect bands. I'm a landlord. A lot of people see. It. You know what's crazy? I don't think Chief Keep get the lyrical, um, his flow, his lyrics. He don't get all that because, like I said, they look at him as just a drill rapper. He's just a violent rapper. Violence and money, that's all he really talking about. But if you yes, that's what he's talking about, but the way he's saying he don't I don't think he get a lot of credit for it. He's actually saying something. He said, Boy, I'm collecting bands, I'm the landlord. He's actually articulating himself, but like I said, when he first came out, he had a raspy voice. He didn't sound like very educated, calling him a mumble rapper, then he was a drill rapper. The way he articulated, I don't think he gets enough credit, but let's go. I guess lots of commas. I can F your mama. I ain't with the drama, you can meet my llama, riding with 300, with 300 forms, 
These bitches, see Chief Sosa, I swear to God, they honored. I told you the boy can rap. It doesn't, like like I said, all y'all, we probably heard this song, but you haven't heard the song, Love Sosa Chief Keith. If you hear the song, it sounds like he just going through the motions of the song. The song hit hard, you know, and I said, my past boy, but he's actually saying something. And it goes back to the chorus. These bees love Sosa. Oh, and a note in. Go to the second verse. Don't make me call D Rose, boy. D Rose is one of his friends that got locked up. Um, he's on the murder charge. He's six double low, boy. So that's what I'm saying. Some of his friends are represent 600. Flood my comments. Y'all help me out. 600. Now, I was into it big. Now the drill has died off. Um, you know, they had Rondo, number nine, they had Lil Dirk, they got 600 OTF, I was into it, because like I said, it was so, was so polarizing when they first came out, when, I'm talking about when they first, first now it's kind of, you know, watered down, everybody's doing it, everybody's drilling, I'm talking about, this is the core of drill rap, when it first came out, it was haunting, it was, ex not say exciting, but not the murder part, I'm talking about the getting money part. It was cool to see these kids come from these type of places, uh, east side of Chicago, south side, west side. It was cool to me to see youngsters get out that mess and get that damn money. And I love to see the hunger. I love to see somebody struggle. I love to see somebody just put it all out there. I love to see, uh, especially a youngster, to be that brave to go out there and get that bag. To see youngsters coming, you, you ducking bullets every day. Not only that. They got bills. These youngsters got bills. They're trying to figure out who they are as a person. There's lack of resources. There's lack of hope. There's lack of uh, adults really helping these kids out. And they were dying off so fast. So that's why I say the C, Chief, and a lot of Chief Keith's family got killed. His cousin, Big Glow. Like I said, I was in, really into it. It was just intriguing to see, like, so many the stories that were coming out of Chicago. So many stories of what was going on. And I'm not just talking about Chief Keef and the the, the well-known name. I'm talking about, you got to think about all the stories that was going on in Chicago. How these kids were leaving so fast. And like, this, this is the heart of drill. It's not the heart of game bank. It's the heart of uh, drill. And this is something that was taking game banging to another level. Because game banging, you... you, you you, it was always been disrespectful. Because I'm from Cali, so we had that too. So you got uh, the Bloods and Crypt. They go hit one of their homies and then carve their name out and let them know who did it. You know, they, they used to do it like on the wall. You put your name on the wall. Like, say little, little, little P. You know, little P was a Crypt and the Blood killed him. Well, the Blood would kill him, spray paint the wall, uh, little P, and then X him out. And then put their uh, gang on there. Then everybody know why they do that. I don't know. I don't know why you want to put your name out there, but they'll cross your homie. I'll put his name on the wall, cross him out. So this has been going, this type of disrespect been going on for years, but now it's just a digital age. Dudes were talking on the internet, and once they found out who was talking on the internet, they go get whacked. Next two or three days later, a week later, sometimes even hours, what that guy said on the internet could potentially get you murdered. So it was just crazy. So this is the world that he come from. He made it out. Uh, don't don't make me call D Rose, boy. He six double low, boy. He keep that pole, boy. You gonna get effed over the pole? Talking about extended clip, the thirty rounders. B, I did sell soda. I done sell coca. She gonna clap for Sosa. She gonna clap for Sosa. He gonna clap for Sosa. So now, when he means clap for Sosa, I think she's uh, I think he's talking about. I, well, I was thinking maybe she, he's talking about she's gonna shake her behind for Sosa, like she's gonna shake it. And then he's talking about he gonna clap for Sosa. I think he's talking about there's gonna be a lot of dudes that's gonna support him. He gonna clap for Sosa because he at that time he was like the god of Chicago. So clapping. Or maybe he just, they both mean the same thing as standing ovation. Uh, the, the girl's going to love him. I think it means, maybe now I'm looking at it, I think he means like the girl's going to clap for him and the dude's going to clap for him because he was getting a lot of support from Chicago. They do it for Sosa. Them hoes, they so off of Sosa. Tato off that Molly water. So nigga, 
be cool like water before you get hit with this lava b i'm trending topic don't care no price i'll cop it be on your b steady jocking me so I don't know if B means blood, but it says I'll cop it. So he's pretty much saying he just he was hot. I'm trending. I'm salsa. I'm the god of Chicago. Um, you better watch your girl because she's gonna be jocking me. So because it goes back to the chorus, and that's the end of the song. Would y'all like to know my opinion? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Another uh hip-hop classic you know i don't know if we're ever gonna see somebody this authentic which when you call a phenom uh chief keef is a phenom when you talk about you know a kid if you if you ever look at his early works you know this a uh, uh, a dirty little boy in the hood trying to get some money and he built that not all himself you know of course he had one of the the uh, best producer at the time, Young Chop. He had a producer on the side, and everything kind of fall together. So this is his story. I'm more intrigued about this story. How does a 12 year old say a gangbanger say I'm gonna be the biggest block star, I'm gonna be the biggest city star, I'm gonna be the biggest rap star, I'm gonna be the, one of the greatest to ever do it, not only for my city but in rap history. I'm gonna be a music mogul. I'm gonna be getting into fashion. I'm going to get into promoting cars and fast cars. Um, he did that within four years. I'm talking about he got put on at 16 and he grew eventually, started putting out a whole bunch of music and eventually became, he actually did everything he sought out to do. He did everything he sought out to do and his mindset was like that at 12 years old. So he started at 12. Now I'm quest I'm I'm wondering wh where did he get this mindset? So typically from this lifestyle there is no room for weakness. He comes from a, a background where there isn't uh much room for weakness. There isn't much room for uh softness. There isn't much room for losing. The the game banging environment creates a hunger that's uh that's uncontrollable, you know? And in essence, that's how men are supposed to be. That, a lot of people talk about gangs and gangs, is, but that uncontrollable hunger to do better in life, that uncontrollable hunger to get out of your situation and actually live life. Most people ain't living the life they want to live. And that's why I say it's intriguing to, to for this young, for that young man to see all the stuff that he's seen, the fights, the shootouts, jail time, you got to remember, he was being locked up before he got famous. So he's already in juvenile, 12, 13, 14, 15. He's already making a name for himself at such an early age. And like I said, most people ain't living the life that you want to live. He said, I am determined to live the life I want to live. Well, he was already having kids. I think he had his first kid when he was 15. So very intriguing story. Very intriguing individual. Glad he made it out. I hope more of them babies make it out. I hope, you know, something is done about Chicago. It's an absolute mess, just like just like a lot of these major cities. But y'all flood my comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Chief Key. Y'all let me know what y'all think about his uh, breakout song, Love Salsa. Uh, yeah, just, just a phenom. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. 250, Rooting in Music TV, I am gone.